All right, Sanctuary Saga Prelude. Let's check it out. New game. And when they've unloaded the foodstuffs, tell the twins to report directly to their mother. She won't thank me for keeping them, and Orin owes them for the thing with the gremlins. He can handle the rest of the deliveries. He'll complain about Orin, but Orin will do it. I'll let him know right away. How soon until they send us out, you think? We've been out on travel for the better part of a year. I brought it up to the Expedition Council before we left. They are aware we are feeling overworked, so that so that should buy us some form of respite. The sooner you relay the orders, the sooner we get to rest ourselves. Yes, ma'am. I'll head back to the caravan now. Ah, Sirena. Aris. Home ahead of schedule. Excellent. I have orders from Elder Kin to send you immediately to the Free Kingdom's port of Enris. A shipment they are expecting is ready. If your crew hurries, you can head out before dusk today. But ma'am, we've just returned ourselves. The deliveries are not even complete yet. And your return is fortunate as this shipment would not make it prior to the Lunar Festival otherwise. We will give you the rest of today to finish deliveries and make preparations for first light. We will see you out then. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I will let the crew know. Some may wish to bring their families this time around. We've barely seen them across the past score weeks. So long as they do not hinder your purpose, the consequences are on them otherwise. We Be sure to, pre to finish preparations before you rest. Good day. Sirena and Iris in unison. Good day, ma'am. All right, so we're like kind of like merchants or something. And there's our answer, Iris. I think that's beyond the last straw, don't you? You know, I think you've been more than patient up to this point with their greed. Shall I inform everyone to make haste? Yes, send Sile to the missionaries and inform them we agree to the pact. Our clan will join Dahlgrim's expedition, craze or not. He and his dwarven clan are just this side of insane, but they'll keep their word. First light, then? First light. Okay. Kind of a slow start to a game with just lots of text on screen, but here we are. And once we are at Founder's Landing, we'll meet up with Ethan's crew. I've hesitated to accept the help from the Thieves' Guild, but they have access to supply chains we will need. Plus, they're none too shabby in a fight. Darn skippy we aren't. There's, there's enough smell of loot for everyone to show up. Just you wait and see. Even with them, do you really think we can survive? Founder's Landing, tis a ruin for a reason. The Untamed Wilds didn't play about a boot with fools. I assure you, we are not taking the wilds lightly. Scouts have told us it's pretty flat and easy until we get to the start of the actual forest. We picked this mini location so Dolgrim and his throng can access it from the mountain caves. The Free Kingdom groups are with him now. If this isn't enough of a caravan to penetrate the untamed wilds and create a settlement, nothing ever will be. Focus on getting us there and we'll take care of the rest. Just think, you may soon be in charge of your own dock, Captain. Hmm, you are got me loyalty. Riches or ruin come. Okay. Harpy's incoming. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. This, start with this. All right, Dev. Immediate constructive cri criticism. Cut all that dialogue. Start off your game with just the picture of the boat and the guy saying, Harpy's incoming! And then straight into the battle. And then give us, like, you know, a minute and a half of just boring dialogue, you know? Give us a little, little tickle our feet a little bit, you know? Don't see the battle tutorial? Yes. Careful. When they swoop down the melee strike, they'll attack whoever's in the closest row. Okay. Melee strikes must always target the front row opponents. Range and magic strikes can target any row. Okay. Uh, level 1 Harpy does a tail on something. Serena causes rain of arrows. Oh, wait, wait a second. They're, au they're auto-fighting. I know. Don't forget to position so you have time to set up your next attack. Wait, what? Skills can only be used from certain rows. Row 1 is the closest to the enemy while 4 is the furthest away. Do you mean... Columns? Because we're all we're all in one row right now. Some skills will also move the user or target to different rows. Check the skill descriptions for information. I think they mean columns. If I get injured, make sure to cover me until the fight is over. Unless there's gonna be more guys like left to right is a row, up and down is a column. So is this is this like column one, column two, or is there gonna be like as we get more people, is there gonna be like, you know, layers? I don't know. We'll find out. If I get injured, make sure to cover me until the fight is over. Would hate to die before I even get into the wilds. If heroes take damage resulting in zero or less hit points, they will remain at one hit points. While at one hit point, the next damage dealt to them will knock them out. Wait a second, uh, wait, what? If they take damage resulting in zero or less? Remain at one? Well, yeah, of, of course if they take zero or less damage, they're, they're gonna remain at one. It's zero damage! <laughs> I think what it's, I think what it's trying, this might be an English second language game, I'm not sure. I, I think what they're trying to say is you can't get insta-shot. It, it, they, it, They'll knock you down to one, and then the next hit gets you taken out. Allies that get knocked out in combat will not revive until returning to the caravan at the end of the current adventure. If the entire active party is knocked out and the fight is game over. Okay. 
You just focus on not getting knocked out, and it won't be an issue. We won't always be able to coddle you. Be sure to manage your hero's argument gauges. Interesting. Argument gauges? I've never seen that in a game. If their argument is too high, they may spend their turn arguing instead of taking an action. Fascinating. I wonder who, th who thinks of this. Apparently this dev. Skills in combat events can change argument rating on heroes. Very interesting. Okay, okay, now we can actually control. Alright, well, let's just do a default attack first to see... Who am I, who am I even controlling? Is this, like, everybody? Um, attack the Harpy. Serena attacks moving forward. Wait a second, she... They ch this is interesting! I've never seen a combat mechanic like this. Alright, now Ethan... I guess it's Ethan's turn? Okay, um, Dev, if you're watching this, I recommend that... Um, whoever's turn it is, give them a glowing white aura around their character. That way it's easy at a glance to tell who I'm controlling. Because right now, aside from the fact that I knew I just played Serena, so it's probably Ethan's turn. But aside from that, like, how do I know who's, how do I know whose turn it is, you know? Give them a white glowing aura over whose turn it is so we know. Okay, oh, it's Ethan's turn right now, kind of thing like that. I guess, uh, uh, I, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. It, up here, top left, it says current. This guy, although the white aura highlighting the guy would be a nice touch too. You know, center of screens where the eyes are usually going to be at. Um, skills, opportunistic strike, smoke screen, hear your tactics. Uh, opportunistic strike deals more damage to high point targets. All right, roll one to two. Uh, okay, sure, let's let's do that. Opportunistic strike. Okay, uh, pinion flurry, moving back. It's kind of neat how they move back and forth like this. And now she's in the front. So his attack moved him backwards. This is interesting. All right, let's... Oh, wait, wait, it's his turn again? Why does he get to go twice in a row? Or is it her turn? Let's attack. No, it was, it was his turn again. Okay. Or maybe this maybe this is the turn order up here in the top left. I still think it'd be a, a little white aura would really simplify, but it's, I think you can figure it out. Like, okay, maybe it's Serena's turn now. Yep, Serena. So you can figure it out by using the HUD, but... Yeah, let's kind of... Not ideal. Spear thrust? Sure. And it, like, moves her forward one spot in the row. So there's, like, an act of moving around in the rows kind of thing. Very loud. Um, fibers, etc. Okay, sure. Am I, like, choosing? Am I taking all of it? Just taking all of it. Well done. Hopefully the rest of the journey isn't any more difficult. I'll rest easier once we're on shore. Post additional lookouts if harpies are around. Thanks for, help me for helping out, Ethan. It's really nice to know you have our backs. Yeah, no problem, crew. That's what we're here for. Okay, okay. Also, Dev, uh, the game needs a full screen feature. I couldn't find an option to turn it to full screen, so I'm just kind of like cropping out the borders of the window for the video. Um, no troubles in the caverns we couldn't handle as expected. Kept having to pull Cyrus here away from trouble we didn't need. Ha. Couldn't help it. I've never been in caverns before. Consults parchment. All losses were around our expectations. We're currently taking stock of supplies. Need to make sure people can eat. The missionaries are going around and ensuring the kids are sorted and injuries are intended. In a few days, the caravan should be ready to make a push until we find a large enough clearing for us to hunt and restock supplies. Wouldn't miss the chance to gather up some rare supplies to boot. I can't imagine there isn't a fortune waiting to be found, as long as there is a buyer. We need to scout a path. I'll lead a group in and see if we can find a wide enough course once we're past the copes. I don't know what that means. With luck, we'll find it in the time it takes to prepare the caravan. Copes. I don't know what that is. You, you won't need to do it alone, lass. Though my legs are short, my constitution is wide, I'll not need to rest as, as others will. I am not missing out on this. The first to help chart the wilds, I may even get it noticed by others at the academy. I guess I'm going to have to choose my party. If wounds need knitting, I'll be there. Can't imagine the wilds are untamed for no good reason, so she's going to be my healer. I'm certainly not missing a chance for first taking spoils. You aren't going in without me. Someone will need to ensure tempers don't flare. Might as well be me. We are very much in this together. Guess I'm going in with this lot. Tell the others to keep patrols frequent and report back to you. Warn the other groups as soon as something needs addressing. If we aren't back by the time the caravan is ready, send out another party to find a path. We'll find you if necessary. Yes, ma'am. May the shells cover you and your pace be the wind. Thank you, Aris. All right. A lot of talking. But it's kind of to be expected with these kind of games. Thank you for playing the Sanctuary Saga Prelude Demo. Wait, there's got to be more than just that, right? No, th yeah, there's got to be more. This is just like a little thing asking for... You know, bug feedback, whatever. Okay, value feedback. Would you like an explanation party formation? Yes. 
While the party consists of six members, only four can fight. Okay. To change the order of the heroes, go to the menu, select formation. If this menu, the party composition and order can be changed. If a party member is knocked out, they can be swapped out of the active party in this menu. They will not wake up until the end of the adventure when the party, party returns to caravan. Be sure to keep an eye on every hero's argument meter. This will go up even if the heroes are not in your active party. Be sure to swap heroes in periodically to lower their arguments. Okay. So, like, there's probably like a formation here. You can trade out. Okay, yep, and trade here and... Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so the... F I see them. I see you. Got some slimes here, so... I, I guess we're not in, like, complete... A complete horizontal row? So we got, like, a, the, the horizontal aspect and a little bit of the vertical as well. I wonder if the vertical... Maybe the vertical is just for, like... So you can't... Th they're not, like, mushed up together. I think it... I think it's... it's yeah, it's like just like it's just it's just one row effectively, I think. Maybe. All well, these guys are not in a row. I'm not sure how it quite works with the whole the the whole gimmick of this game is like having to do with rows. So I'm not sure how it all factors in. Skills, spear thrust, um row one to four. Maybe these guys are I'm not sure. Maybe like the vertical is just like visual and it's all about the the row for like the gameplay wise. Row one, two, three, four. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's I think it's just it's all about the rows, the vertical aspect just for like for our sake of like making it easier to see, you know. There we go. Alright, now you your skills. Let's have you um small damage and counter for three turns. Uh I think the strike's fine. Get him a little striking. There we go. Now you're moving forward, hit him with the uh, chop, one or two damage, there we go. Ooh, no- Oh, you're kind of weak, man. I expected more from you. Let's do a basic attack to finish them off. She attacks moving forward. I still don't understand what the row- How does- How does, like, your positioning in the row affect things? Does it, like, um... Do you take more damage in, in the front and do more damage, maybe? I don't- I don't- I feel like it was, uh... I may have- I may have glanced over- Also, why can't you attack normally? Why do you have to use the skill every time? Do skills use mana? I don't know. Uh, spear thrust. So much to learn. I guess that's the fun part of the game is like learning it as you go, right? Ores, reagents, trophies. More like spoils, so... Got some guys we can fight there. Alright. Well, I think we've taken a decent look at the game. It seems- it seems interesting. I- I feel like there's something here worth checking out. It's not your- it's not your generic copy-paste, uh, RPG maker game. It's actually like a very unique battle system that's, that's worth looking out and uh, checking out. Seems neat. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.